o'clock in the morning, November 9, 2009, when we docked at the port of Melbourne. The day was expected to be nice and warm, but I didn't have an excursion booked for the day. After breakfast, my new Canadian friends, Mike and Beth, let me hang out with them to go out on a self-tour to the city of Melbourne. Princess had arranged for free shuttles to the city upon our arrival. No specific agenda, but Mike and Beth agreed that we visit the Melbourne Zoo and take the Yarra River cruise. The Melbourne Zoo visit was actually my request, so I can take some pictures of koala bears if they have them. During the first shuttle stop, most passengers got off and Mike had noticed the National Gallery exhibitions of the singing group ACDC. He and Beth were a fan of this group, and we spent some time viewing the exhibits. It was a beautiful gallery, and very impressive. But we took off just when I was starting to be a fan of this group too. Afterwards, it was decided that we go for the Melbourne Zoo. We asked a couple of locals to direct us to the train station. Being new to the city, we weren't sure how to get there. But at the train station, the attendants were very helpful. For a few dollars fare, we were on our way to the zoo. It was a comfortable ride. Oh, that's smooth, huh? Is this like uh, magnetic? Yes, it is. I don't know. I think it's electrical. Yeah, it is electrical. You can feel the rails. We didn't get lost, but a nice surprise awaited us at the zoo. Entry wasn't free. It cost us a non-negotiable $24 fee per person to get in. But we decided to go in anyway. <laughs> Melbourne Zoo is home to more than 300 Australian exotic wildlife species. Never mind today's temperature, but we went to see all we can at the zoo. The gorillas. Giraffes. Elephants, exotic birds, peacocks, kangaroos, and many more. <laughs> but the one that really interests me, the koala bears, was a disappointment. There was only one let out for viewing, and it was hiding behind a tree. 
I took a picture of the tree more than the koala bear. We made the best of this visit anyway. It turned out to be a good one. Although sometimes we had to compete with the local school children for viewing spaces. Going back to the city, Mike met someone to talk to who gave us a few information to get around. Off we go. What's All your right. name, by the way? Uh, Mike. Hi, 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 Mike. Hi,